Hey YouTube, Kirby, you know, watching Kirby Q. Uh, my birthday recently passed, and so uh, my wife got me um, this. She let me pick this, I should say. <laughs> she let me pick this as uh, my birthday present. Um, it's a barrel house cooker. Um, I picked it up at Walmart. I think it was for $147 at Walmart. Um, it seems to be the latest, well not the latest rage, and one of the newest rage is the uh, egg on um, pellet cookers. But, um, but anyway, at one point in time, barrel cooking and hanging your meat was all the rage. So I'm now just catching up to the curve and getting around to giving it a try. So today is just my unboxing video. I'm going to um, show me unboxing this and seeing what all comes in this um, cooker. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the unboxing ready. I'm going to reposition the camera and get it off the little table so I can get it get it in the frame. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, okay, let me... Okay, let's go ahead and do the old staples. Look like there's some packed material. Handy dandy manual. Lid, so you can assembly required. Okay, pit barrel lifts off base. Okay. your basket. It only comes with one rack.
see you pan around them. everything that's on the ground. It's the grill rack, hand in, hanging rack, charcoal basket. That's the lid. I'm going to assume that's going to be the bottom to the uh, smoker. And of course, two boxes of hardware to put together. All right, so that is the product completely unboxed. <clears throat> I am we adjust. I'm gonna go ahead and start my assembly, put it together. So once I have it all together, I'll come back and. Uh, show you what it's like once I put it all together. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, I've completed the assembly of the barrel house cooker. And I just wanted to show you this. And I think the pit barrel cooker works the same way. When they have the little, uh, here and there some holes. I think you can probably see them right here. And based off the elevation of where you're living at, it'll help regulate the airflow and temperature of the smoker. Given where I live at, it's saying um, I'm currently 15 feet above sea level. So, um, so apparently this one dot is where I need to set it at to help it regulate my temperature. Now I don't know if it's going to give me a 275 or 250. I don't know. I'll figure that out when I do my first cook. But uh, I'm going to pull the camera back and give you a full shot of everything assembled. What we have here is the base unit. I'm gonna set your fire ring down in here. Here is the uh, sort of like the the intake for your air intake for your chimney unit. That's gonna be regulated by this by your dampener right here. And you put your charcoal basket on like that. <clears throat> once you make once you get your fire and stuff set. You don't move this part. You just you, you take the uh, barrel, you set the barrel directly on top of your fire basket and cook like that. As I showed you earlier, it comes with one cooking rack and one hanging rack. And the um, cooking rack. Fit on the top. Let me bring you in closer so you can see that. Fit on top like that. And uh, yes, if you could. Second, second tier where you can put that on. And here's your hanging rack. Put you to hang your uh, meat and stuff on. You got that. And here's the hooks. <clears throat> Come with a uh, two, four, six, eight hooks. So you'll be able to hang a lot of meat on it with eight hooks. And to some of my pit barrel brethren out there that has the pit barrel cook, I don't know how many hooks come with it, but maybe you can share with me how many hooks you got with your cooker. <clears throat> so 
so and you have this little thing here I don't have a look over in the instruction manual to see what this is yeah hold on give me a second find out what this is oh okay this helps you when you want to get your food off all right the little hook remove the thing okay and of course you got your lid <coughs> to and of course it comes with your little thermometer nice dirty handle assembly took me uh, probably about uh, 20 minutes 20 30 minutes to put it together uh, what I will share when you if you do purchase one of these the handles so you don't get confused the handle for the lid the uh, ends of it are, are flat and the handles for the uh, side of the barrel are bevel so that way you just won't get confused and waste time trying to because uh, when you open the box it doesn't differentiate which handle goes to where but uh, <clears throat> I was just fortunate enough that each time I picked up a handle for well, the side barrel was one of the beveled ends <clears throat> so but you know I just thought I'd share that one little point but I also got a little hook to hang the lid on for when you're doing that and it also got a couple of holes here so if you're going to run some uh, looks like if you want to run some rebar across looks like you can looks like you can run some rebar across I guess that's what that's for. I don't know how to find out. Or if it's just for exhaust. But. to this weekend <clears throat> one of the things hold on <coughs> I do want to before we go as a grill you want to do some real close grilling just to grill up a steak or something so in that <clears throat> I'm sorry y'all can't see it so if you want to like a do some quick searing for a steak or some burgers and some little dolls I think in that configuration you can do some grilling all right i think that concludes my unpacking video Chances are, <clears throat> what I'm, one of the things, one of my reasons for wanting to get this is like if I'm at a comp and I have to do a people's choice, 
pork butt or something that I will use it for that and uh, just cook it on the top that so I probably want to get a second rack so that way I can get two butts on each rack and so cook four butts at a time um, with just this one rack I could probably only do two ribs at a time uh, unless I'm gonna hang them from a hang them probably get eight ribs um, eight ribs and um, probably four chickens looks like you can probably do all right guys I think now I'm gonna actually wrap it up and call it a uh, call it a wrap on this one but I uh, just wanted to put it back together one more time and uh, just say thanks for watching I'll be doing a cook on this shortly and when I do uh, this video, I upload it. All right, Kirby, this is Kirby Q. Thanks for watching. If you have a um, barrel house smoker uh, you've been using it for quite a while and you'll share some tips and tricks with me I'll be uh, interested to hear what you got to say leave them in the con comment section if you got a pit barrel cooker uh, I'll be interested in hearing some of your uh, reviews on a pit barrel cooker cooker and just uh, I really would like to do a side-by-side -side comparison you know what um, EJ and uh, get your grill on if you watching this maybe this would be a good chance to get you some exposure and give me a chance to uh, use a pit barrel cooker maybe I could come out to your store one day and do a side-by-side -side comparison using a pit barrel cooker and a barrel house cooker and do some ribs and let's see what the let's see how the two smokers stack up all right thank you guys for watching